Hello, everybody. It is I, Jenny Lorenzo. I know it's super weird to see me out of costume and character, but here we are because this is a very special video. <laughs> I'm here with Janelle. Hello. I'm a professional organizer, and I'm here to straighten up your office. Yes. My office is actually just a storage room for my equipment, my wigs, my costumes, my props and a couch, a pull-out couch for my guests. So yes. it's also a guest bedroom. Well, our goal today is that we're going to create a system so that everything stays really organized. And also I know it's a shared space, mm -hmm. so it'll make it easier. We'll have labels so that other people know where to find things. Yes. So that they also know where to put them away when you're done. Yeah. So we have to make sure that there's, you know, a clear path for where every every single thing goes. Yeah. So we're gonna move on upstairs. We're excited to see and it. And Janelle's gonna take a look at my disaster zone. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. It's actually bigger than I thought it was going to be. Cool. This is awesome. Do you and think I made it, sure to mess every corner of it. It doesn't scare me. Nothing scares me. We are going to break this into pieces, okay? So we're not going to get overwhelmed with all of these things. We're going to start with just starting to sort what's on the bed. This, I'm assuming, <laughs> is stuff that you've used the most recently, correct? Yep. So yeah. we're going to start here and then we're going to detail some of the stuff. Mm -hmm. So first we're just going to figure out what we've got, put all the wigs together, put all the costumes together or do it by character. You're going to tell me what's yeah. the best way to group it. And then we're going to, we're going to do it that way. Then we're going to see what we have. Then we're going to tackle his closet so we can make enough room to start to rearrange things mm -hmm. because then we're going to have the handyman come and he's going to help us getting the desk out and all that stuff. Um, and so we want to make kind of have an idea of what's on the floor and get it up mm -hmm. before he gets here. So I see that you have these, which is the wigs, right? They're yeah. labeled. Great. Yeah. Normally I'm, I'm a lot better about this, like, but it's been so many uh, shoots back to back. So here's Tia Gloria's wig, <laughs> your favorite shady aunt. Um, and this is her bag. Typically what I started doing lately is uh, putting their jewelry in right. the bags with them because it just it's easier it's a great idea um versus something like this is more like for new characters or if they want to change up their jewelry yep but their typical jewelry i pair it with the with the bag that's smart i've got over like 30 wigs all of this was is wigs okay so these are maruchi's bracelets this is do you get inspired by the wig for the character sometimes yeah yeah like i think the wig is what makes it for me when it like transforms me. Yeah. This is probably the most important wig. This is my most popular character. Yeah. And yet here it is tossed in a bag. Awesome, Jenny. And I don't know where her bag is either. So yeah, so I have like a priest costume, I've made costume. At first I was like, do I return this? But I'm like, no, we do a lot of like Catholic church parodies and stuff. We're gonna always need a priest costume or like a criada from a novela, which is this one that Donnie um, war in our Clue parody. So, I really it's, want to do more of the, these types of parodies, so. It's funny, because normally I'm telling people not to keep things for a hypothetical situation, <gasps> but your life and your job is so different that I can't say that, because you do need to keep things for a hypothetical. Okay, we should go grab the handyman. Oh, yes, His yes. Name is Adam. The He's... handyman. <laughs> I'm the repairman, man, man, man. That we're gonna raise. Okay. If possible. Cause look at this gem. Oh, that is so good. I had to buy it, and of course I'm like, which would one of my characters would wear this? I'm like Thea Flood, cause she's a little tacky and extra. I got this recently, and I think this is a great outfit for a Christmas video. I don't know who would wear this. Probably again, Thea Flood. These are just great pieces. I'm obsessed. Yeah. Seven characters. Seven characters plus miscellaneous, and we have six drawers. Sure, let me keep a broken hanger. Great idea, Jenny. Make sure that all of the pieces are out of the drawers. Um, if there's two characters that make sense to be sharing a drawer, we can do it that way. So that's Grandma. Great. This is also her. Okay. This is her. So this is more of like her going out attire with those pants. 
Okay. These usually go together. Maruchi's bathrobe. That's just a sweater. God. Tia Gloria. All her pretentious outfits. nuts it's like if i'm thrifting and i see something that reminds me of the character it's hard not to buy it how often do you thrift i don't do it as much anymore because i feel like i have so much already it has to be now for like a specific reason you know like if they're going to the beach now it's like ooh, what would this character wear to the beach because i don't have that do you see this more as a michi now yeah well, yeah i think michi did wear this for the noche buena video but i put a sweater over it so I'm like, I have to keep this. I have two, which works out because oh, if I have another employee. It. We'll find another home for it. And then the, the bookshelf will be right there. Cowabunga. We're gonna make a label. This is so cute. Uh, voila. It's gonna look good. Oh, look at that. It is Larissa. It was here the whole time. This is when I was like front page of a newspaper in Miami. Yeah. You know what it is? I also feel uncomfortable making this like a shrine to me. I even felt weird printing out those photos of all my characters. This is the thing. It's Look your at office. me. I'm so cool. It's your office. It's your but office. No. If you mix it with things, you want to see your goal, like the things that you've accomplished and then also set goals. So I normally see in people's offices if they got an award or someone made something for them, but also mixed with a quote by someone, maybe Michael Scott is your inspiration, <laughs> but you know, mixed with that so yeah. that you're having kind of this, this is what I've accomplished and this is what I hope to accomplish and it's okay. Oh yeah, that's also for prop purposes. It's hilarious, my, my mom shipped them to me. It's so, so good. So that I can hang them in the background. Okay, we're rocking and rolling. We went to Comic-Con and we saw Conan live. <laughs> it's my Geeky Award. Pew pew! This is probably the coolest award I've ever gotten. This? I don't know what to do with that. Okay. What is it? So this year at VidCon, that same image was blown up to this huge poster outside of the convention center. So they gave me like a small version of it, but yeah. I probably, I'll probably have it framed. So here we put a lot of my character shoes and it looks really cute out here. This is pretty neat. And then all the pañuelos and scarves and here we got glasses. And then this is my award section up here. We're still fixing up. Take the top one down. So we put this Nintendo stuff right there. We're gonna put the other big one up there instead of that tiny one. Here, wait, I'm gonna have put this the shelf. Really um, yeah. Over here. I want to always want to record in this room. Yeah, it's it's gonna be so. Well, look what a difference it makes to not have that giant. It was huge. Yeah. It was taking up so much space yeah. and not giving you enough storage. And this is just so pretty. No more plastic hangers. This is prop meds. And then in this one, it's like a lot of the old school Abuela beauty supply stuff, you know, including perfumes like Violetas, Compacts, Maha and Airspun, like little decorative soaps and boxes and things that they would keep. Okay. Let's make a little flower moment. Oop. Oh, I run a party city. You don't have to go anywhere else for Halloween. Should I just wear this Screw the rest of the time? Spirit, yes. Does it look good? <laughs> I got this at a con. You look so cute with the pink shirt. <laughs> oh yeah, my little pink shirt and my pink ears. Any holiday, I got it, I got it all. This is Just Laney's goth umbrella that I have yet to utilize in a video. This is part of a Halloween costume for three, four, I think we just have two more here. Okay. So five, six. 
<laughs> what would it be? The this is a little black candle. What, what else would know. match it? You think? Like what else would <sighs> it be combined with? From every time we shoot in the bathroom. So we got the shower curtain, the ugly tissue box cover, the toilet paper cover. I use this in the bathroom decor also. I think we can fit that. A little baby shower bottle. I'm getting so excited. This is so neat. And it's gonna be so easy for us to decorate now. Damn, thank God I have this storage. Thank God. You can still see what's behind it. Yeah. With bins like this, when you are putting them in a really deep space, it is good for them to have a handle yeah. because it makes it so much easier. Ah, oh, this looks so beautiful. Just like that, my raspy ass boys. Oh, and David has a clover. I'm so excited. This is a keepsake. This is actually when me and David met. He signed my jeans from the show. Mini DVs from my sketch comedy days at Off The Wire and UM. So, I mean, that should obviously it's go. so little and cute, look at the <laughs> Oh my goodness. 1987 Does dress. Does it still fit? Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> I mean, it would have to go in like the props, but like, unless we put that under moment in the mementos box, but this thing already feels like it's going to The beginning of Jenny. Before she was conceived, here I am in the blue dress. My oh, fat, my cutie mushroom smile. nose. <laughs> Look at the asalache to avoid evil eye. I went from cute to holy puberty. Then that's me trying to be a chonga. My hip hop dance photo. This one's even worse. Best prom photo ever. That's my friend Al. We were not dating. That's probably why it was a great prom. Took my old geekgasm tea. It's like I can't part with these little things, you know? Oh God, it's a mess. What is in there? So these are my actual grandparents' clothes. So these are my grandma's real house dresses that I kept. Yep. And then this is a hat that my grandfather wore. He loved wearing these like trucker hats. These are actually my grandfather's cassettes. Baby looks brand new. <laughs> Look at this. The sun's really annoying right now, but look how much of a difference it makes to have a smaller desk. This shelf is beautiful. I still get to showcase uh, how much of a nerd I am. Same with David. Um, I got these fantastic art pieces on my wall of all my characters. Everything's labeled. All of my costumes are here instead of taking up space in the closet. This is one of my favorites over here. This is like adorable because these are all my character shoes or chancletas rather. <laughs> and they're so cute and colorful. And so I think this looks really cool. And then here's some additional uh, character shoes, sneakers. Oh. Ah! All his ties, all his guitars and then just further organization. Bing. So this is glorious. Uh, we really just micro organized everything. So they used to be in bigger bins, but it was still kind of all over the place. So, oh yeah, this is really pretty. So these are all the headbands and then all of the candles. And then you can lift it off and you see what's right behind. We've got all our linens. No but secrets. Under there, it's all the bathroom props when I redecorate the bathroom for bathroom scenes. And then here we've got home decor, the bigger pieces. Here we have smaller home decor pieces, like little tchotchkes. This is miscellaneous props. These are medical props. 
Tu sabe, when you play an abuela character, you need that. And then beauty props. Yep, and back there's all the florals that we use in the vases and stuff like that. And to the right is all the frames we use for set design. The one thing is that with deep, deep cabinets like that, you don't want anything in the back to be hidden where you can just stuff things and shove them and forget about them. So here, there's no secrets. Everything is clear, everything is labeled. If it's a bin, it has a handle, it's easy to grab it. So if she needs to make a floral arrangement, she can pull this down, pull the flowers out with the handle, grab what she needs, and then push it back. Um, because again, not everything can be right in the front. So you have to find a way to make the system work for you. So here is where all my film equipment is. We've got, this is David's keyboard that he uses when he composes, sound equipment. Um, I love how we use these clips here. So all you oh, have yeah. to do is yeah. go like this. Ah, uh, yes. And pull it forward and then you can see what you've got in here. And then the stuff in the back is bigger stuff that's seasonal, so a lot of lights, boxes for cameras, that kind of thing. So it's not, room. you only need it if it's like gonna be a thing. So, yes. you know, you'll pull the few bins out, you'll reach in, grab it, and then shove it right back. Are my lights and just the, the really big lights the C stands and a lot of the light stands. Because it was one bedroom and we had no storage. So that's how we looked for a two bedroom. Um, and now David and I can both record our voiceovers here. He can compose his music. He can bring out his guitars. I feel like it's just gonna help us both creatively in general. And then Kevin and Christina and Ernie won't wanna kill me when it comes to finding props and, and electronics and stuff. <laughs> Thanks to Janelle! I think it's so important that in a space like this, especially creative space, that it feels like you. So it's okay to display what you're proud of. I think this is so beautiful. It's so special to you. Yeah. I'm sure that everybody's gonna be so excited to kind of see who you really are. Yeah. And I think this really represents that. There's I've literally energy. never had a client that's like, I have energy after this and I would like to go do more. It's just a record. Have so much energy. Usually people are like, so are you gonna leave so I can take a nap now? Because I'm really tired. Nope. <laughs> She's like on fire. I, so I feel that organizing is self-care. Yeah. It's like therapy kind of. It really is. And having a clear space gives you a clear mind and Sometimes you just need someone to help guide you through it. Mm -hmm. Even if you have the tools in your head to do it, sometimes the execution is where there's a block. Yeah. And so it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to call in someone who does this every day. This is what I do every single day. Gosh, and so, great. you know, I've seen it all and I know that we're always gonna get to the finish line. And mm -hmm. sometimes you just gotta get over that hump where you're like, this is never gonna end. There's so much stuff. I'm so overwhelmed and you need someone to say, you're gonna yeah. get there and it's yeah. gonna be fine. <laughs> Thank you.